Yes. Yes, we are out here. And Ben, thank you so much for coming and joining oh, us on Stargazing so Live. It's to be here. And look, we can see, we can see a star. <laughs> we can. The clouds are coming and going. Yeah. Now, I know you're a space fan. When did Love you it. first get interested in space? I think it was when I was, uh, when I was, when I was a child of the late 60s. Uh, men walked on the moon the first time. I remember, I think it was Apollo, I don't know, 15, 16. And I remember one of my first memories is seeing them, you know, on a, with a buggy on the, the moon. Buggies, and yeah. I thought it was so exciting. Not only had I gone to the moon, but you've taken a car to the moon. Which is it's such an exciting time. The moon has always captivated us, but to actually see the footprints that are on the surface of the moon now is so exciting. Do you think we'll ever go back? Of course we will. That's, that's where we're going to build our, our space rockets of the future. That's going to be our... We're going to terraform it. It's going to be amazing. It's our nearest neighbour, and we yeah. shouldn't forget about it. But this evening, I want to be telling you about the future of our sun. Yes. And our sun yeah. is a magnificent object. When you look at it through a specialist solar fi uh, filter, it really comes to life. Now, perhaps you can tell me something about the sun, because the sun sort of has weather. It's just one of the things that fascinates me about it. And I know you're an, you're an expert, but it, it, it gets much hotter and much colder over sort of periods of hundreds of years, doesn't it? The sun, what's going on there? So our sun does vary a lot, and sometimes it's very slightly cooler and sometimes it's very slightly hotter. And actually, it depends on what wavelength of light you look in. Yeah. But it all comes down to the sun's magnetic field. That's what makes it such a vibrant and dynamic uh, star. The magnetic field ebbs and flows in size and complexity over time. It's a marvellous object. Yeah. So really, really complicated. Is it, is, it, is it possible to predict whether it's going to get much hotter or much colder in the future? It's or? very hard to predict, but we are working on that. Yeah. But one question that I do get asked an awful lot about the sun is how it's going to die and or will it end up shining forever? I've joined some friends from the Chipping Norton Amateur Astronomy Group to reveal how the story of our sun is written in the night sky. We'll be looking for objects that tell us about all the stages of the sun's life, from its past, its present, and also looking into the future. Our sun was born four and a half billion years ago in a cloud of gas and dust. And I've challenged Alex to use her telescope to show us one of these nebulae. Alex, how are you getting on with the Rosette Nebula? Um, I'm actually really surprised because it's so windy that I was expecting the stars to be all over the place. And this is what I've got for six-minute exposure. That is stunning. So this is a star-forming region, one yes. of the many that you can see in the night sky. You can find the Rosette Nebula just to the east of the constellation Orion. It's quite incredible to think that our sun started off this way. That's right. So our part of the universe would have looked like this four and a half billion years ago. Birth is just the first chapter in a star's life. Our sun is now in the prime of its life, like 90% of all the stars we can see. One, which looks very much like our sun would, seen from outer space, is called Sirius. And that's what you're looking at, Robin, right now. Yep. Sirius is always at the foot of Orion and to the left. It's one of the easiest stars to find. You don't need a telescope. Naked eye is fantastic. A pair of binoculars, absolutely knock, knock your socks off. What I love about Sirius is that it twinkles more than most stars. It glows, it, what they call scintillates, so it has this, and it also has these flashes of colour. So it looks like a diamond in the sky, sparkling. Stars like Sirius and the Sun spend the vast majority of their life in this middle stage. But to reveal their future, I've asked our astronomers to find a star that's reached old age. Paul and John, how are you getting on looking at our Debrun? Uh, yeah, no, fine. It's a bright star down towards Orion, quite easy to find. Due to its age, our Debrun has used up most of its fuel and its surface has cooled, making it look redder. It's become a red giant. That's lovely. So the colour really stands out clearly through the eyepiece. It's very distinctive uh, to look at, very uh, orange, and uh, this is a very attractive star to observe, certainly. <laughs> well, I think it's lovely to look up at this star and think about our sun becoming this kind of object when it approaches the end of its life. Like our Debrun, our sun will eventually become a red giant as its surface cools. 
Then, in around five billion years or so from now, it will start to die. Looking this far into the future is the hardest. The sun will end its days as a glowing ball of carbon and oxygen, about the size of the Earth, simply fading as it cools down. It will become a white dwarf. So what will it look like then? Hi, Bex and Andy. Hi, Lucy. Hi. Have you spotted your white dwarf? Yes, we have. We sure yes. have. Do you want to have a look? Can I have a look? Yeah, Great, thank it. you. Look carefully. There are two stars here. The bright one is Sirius, the sun-like star we saw earlier. But next to it, only visible thanks to a special filter, there is a much smaller, fainter white dwarf called Sirius B. It is incredible to think about the fact that we can see the remnant of a star. That's right. And to think that that's what's going to become of our sun, that's our future, is a really fascinating thing to be able to watch and, and have a look at in the night sky. So there you have it. Our sun will become a white dwarf in around five billion years. But white dwarfs themselves can take billions or even trillions of years to cool down and completely fade away. And that feels like the sun will shine forever. <laughs>